Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. If it's your first time on my channel, welcome. My name is Anne, and if you have been here already, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this purple eye look. And the first thing I like to do is prime the eyelids. I'm using the MAC Cosmetics Paint Pots in the color Soft Ochre. And then I'm going in with the Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Melted Eyeshadows. And I'm gonna start with the matte side first. So I'm just gonna apply this all over the eyelid. Um, this is gonna be like the base for today's eye look. So first I just use the applicator to apply this on the eyelid and then I will blend out um, the edges to make it look more softer. Now I really like this product actually from Huda Beauty. I've created many videos using the Meta Metals. Um, and they're just really nice, they're easy to use but they do give you like an instant really nice effect without too much effort they have a lot of colors i know this is more like a, a more vibrant version but they also have a lot of neutral versions for everyday wear or if you're going for like a nice brown soft glam they ha she has a lot of colors and it's just super pretty so i'm just focusing on blending and you can see it blends out quite easily of course you want to be a little bit quick because once it dries it won't really budge, which is nice, but you do have to be a little bit quick, but still it's an easy product to use. So then I went in with my own eyeshadow palette that I created together with Sigma Beauty and I used the color Knovos. And I'm gonna blend this uh, kind of along the edges to make sure that everything looks nice and blended out. This is optional, I felt like it already looked quite good, but I'm such a perfectionist, so I did want it to go in with a little bit of eyeshadow to make it look even better. I know like us, a powder product compared to a cream product is always a little bit softer, it looks softer on the skin, so that's why I went in with a powder as well. Then I went in with the other side of the product, and this is a shimmer side as you can see. I'm going to use this um, over the eyelid. I did want to kind of mimic the effect as if this is kind of like a half cut crease. So in the crease area I went a little bit harsher as you can see. Um, this is optional, you don't have to do this, but I wanted to kind of like mimic the effect as if I put a lot of effort in this eye look and went kind of for this half cut crease, cut crease effect. Um, but you can also use a little bit over the eyelid, blend it out, and then you have more like a softer effect. But I actually applied quite a lot of this product, uh, which did make it look maybe a little bit, I don't really know how you say that in English, just a bit too much. You can see I'm applying more now and that wasn't really necessarily, to be honest. Um, it was harder to blend it out, um, but it did look really pretty, especially in real life. The shimmer looked so good, but on camera, you can see from really up close, it looked a little bit more chalky. I don't know what's the right word, but I will try to blend it out using a brush to make it a little bit less. But then after that, I went in with the Sigma Beauty uh, Wicked Jaw Liner, and I'm gonna use this to create my wink liner. Um, I am going for kind of like a smudgy eyeliner, so first I just create a line above the lash line like I would normally do. Um, but I am gonna go for like more of a smudgy effect to give this whole eye look a different twist. But this is optional, of course. You can also go for like only a line above the lash line or for a normal wing liner, or you can just skip the whole eyeliner. I know a lot of my followers actually don't always use eyeliner, so this eye look will definitely look really good as well if you just skip the eyeliner. Um, you can just go on with some mascara or some falsies and you're good to go. Um, but I'm going for a wing liner just because I personally really like it. So I am creating this wing liner effect. I'm not too focused on making it perfect because I did already know that I wanted to smudge it out. So I went in with my palette again and I went in with the color Levine and just used a very tiny brush to smudge kind of above the upper part of the wing. And I'm trying to kind of like blend it into the eyeshadow. So I used a little bit of the black eyeshadow and then I just added more and more until I was happy with how everything looked. Uh, but I do always feel like a smudgy wing liner just gives a whole different effect and I just really like it. Um, then I went in with the Shape Tape Concealer from Tarte Cosmetics and I used that too like for underneath the wing liner because it wasn't looking as clean as I want. And I just always feel like, it's not always necessarily, but I am such a perfectionist when it comes to things like this. So I feel like it always makes a little bit of a difference. So for me, it's worth it. 
Um, so then I'm gonna blend it out to make sure that it kind of blends into my own natural skin color. And after this, we're gonna focus on the lower lash line. Um, but I'm really happy with how it's looking so far. So then I use some concealer, some powder underneath the eyes, making sure that everything looked nice and clean. And then I went in with the Aqua Resist Color Pencil from Makeup Forever in the color Graphit. And I'm gonna use this for the waterline. It's one of my favorite black pencils for the waterline. Um, it's just super black. I feel like compared to other eyeshadow pencils I've tried, I feel like this one is just really nice and long wearing. Then again, I went in with the color Levine from my own eyeshadow palette and I used this for underneath the lower lash line. If you want to make this eye look a little bit more softer, you can also not go for a black in the waterline and just, just make this whole eye look a little bit softer. But I wanted to kind of go for that smoky, darker vibe. So I went for black underneath the lower lash line and then I blended it out with that purple color that I used earlier. And I used quite a lot because I really wanted my lower lash line to be as kind of like soft blended as possible and really just that you can really see that purple color in this area as well. So I just kept blending and blending. Then I curled my lashes because it's already time for mascara. And I'm gonna go in with the Lancome Hypnose Drama Mascara. I'm not gonna apply too much on the upper lashes because I did already know that I wanted to go in with some false lashes. So just a tiny coat to make sure that my lashes are nice and black. And then I do like to use these ones from Queen Tar, seeing the color, not that I wanted to say color, in the style Nora. Such a beautiful lash style, absolutely love it. Um, they're not too dramatic, they're not too neutral that you can't really see them. I feel like they're just the perfect amount of glam and they just really suit with today's eye look. So I'm just making sure that my eyelashes are applied nicely and then I went over the lash band with a little bit more of the Sigma Wicked Joy Liner because you can still see that glue a little bit. Um, so I just wanted to make sure that it looked as black as possible. And then after that, um, the eye look is actually finished. So yes, I really hope you all like how it turned out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. This is super helpful for my YouTube channel and I really appreciate it. And yeah, I just hope you all enjoyed and hopefully I will see you all in the next one. <laughs> Bye guys.